Well, meanwhile, the Reds' return has not come without controversy. It started earlier this week before a single player even took the field. Before first pitch, a handful of Reds players kneeling during the national anthem. Among those guys, Joey Votto and Amir Garrett, who have both spoken out recently about racial equality. Hello, this is Yolanda, and I'm calling from the west side. Joey Votto, I love you, and thanks for standing up for what's right. Go Reds. I've never really been a big baseball fan, but I saw the, the, the news on Joey Votto. I've just become a baseball fan. Go, Joey. Baseball just got added to the list of John Scully. Will not watch because they kneel for my national anthem. I was looking forward to the coming season, finally getting started, but now I can't watch any of it because Joey Votto and three other dummies disgraced our American flag and thousands of veterans that died to protect that flag in this country. My name is Judy, and I've always been a Reds fan for many, many years, and I hope that they do well, and I'm totally against taking a knee for the national anthem. Ed emailed saying, have been looking forward to baseball, but I'm still a Patriot first. Any players on the Reds that take a knee during the national anthem, I'm done. Some took to Facebook, Mary saying she's glad they are back. It just wouldn't be summer without baseball. While Brenda said she couldn't wait for baseball to return, but now she's done with it after she saw players taking a knee. Investigative reporter Paula Christian shares the story of one man who refused to leave his dying father even after a local nursing home called the police to arrest him. And they said, well, our utmost need is to look after the safety of our residents and our employees. Well, if it's safe to have a visitor prior to 5 p.m., that are safe to have that same visitor after 5 p.m. when the man's father is about to die. What are these people thinking of? Finally, you know, it's not often we get a corn report. In fact, this is a first. But this woman from Hamilton, Butler County, thought we really needed to know. I was at the market last weekend, and... Come to my surprise, $8 for a dozen ears of corn, which were very small to begin with. So I just want to throw that in there where it was a little outrageous for corn, $8 a dozen. Thank you. Have a great day. Uh, thank you so much for the call, ma'am. We're, we're going to get John Matarese, of course, on that case immediately, so you don't waste your money. If you ever have any thoughts about the stories you see here on WCPO 9 News, call that hotline number at 513-852-4998.